my benching is going really, really well. So well that I can't, uh, I can't even describe exactly what's going on, but all I can think of is this. This tool, a simple hammer, or a mallet, whatever it's called, not a mallet, sledgehammer. What's it called? Sledgehammer? Um, four pounds, I think it says. No, three. Three pound hammer. And this is the solution to all of my worries with the elbow pain that I had for a very long time this year i've been plagued by the by the elbow pain i tried you guys know the story i tried uh adding bands to my bench press and that absolutely screwed me over really inflamed my elbows first it was on the right side then it became the left and then i went you know what screw this i don't even want to freaking bench bench is not even my thing anymore uh not that it's ever been i just i don't want to move away from it concentrated on the squat and the deadlift and all the other stuff and then eventually that pain progressed and it started bothering me in the front squat. Uh, started bothering me every time I freaking opened the drawer in the kitchen, type on the computer, uh, and it got to a point where I was like, okay, shit, I have to address this. This is only getting worse and worse and worse. Tried everything under the sun, from shoulders to shoulder presses to lateral raises to, um, what else did I try? I tried a, a whole bunch of things uh lots of information out there lots of information that didn't help me at all people were thinking that it's got something to do with the shoulder instability problem and that kind of manifests itself in this elbow pain uh thought it was the biceps thought it was the triceps did lots of pump work for that uh didn't really work until i started working on the forearms now the forearms as you see with the hammer that's all i'm freaking doing man nothing nothing crazy nothing miraculous for a lot of you guys, you probably don't even understand why I have the elbow pain, but you need to understand I'm a bloody nurse. I don't uh, have a very hard job physically with my hands. Uh, it is very non-labor intensive in terms of, you know, comparing my work to somebody like a bricklayer or carpenter or an electrician or whatever, whatever trade you can think of. Those guys will put thousands of reps through their forearms. I don't. I sit on the computer, fully pronated wrists, tapping on a damn keyboard and so then i come in here and i try yank heavy weight off the floor and i try and bench press and whatever and then obviously the weakest link starts to scream and then you have a problem so this might not even be a worry for you but uh if you have nursey like wrists and uh you're struggling with pain uh just know that it is extremely unnatural if you, if you think about this, it is extremely nat unnatural for you to have these humongous shoulders and lats, huge pressing and pulling muscles, and your wrists are weak, your forearms are weak. That, that makes no sense in a physiological, anatomical way. What, what you know, this is a very much a unreal thing, right? Because in, in, in nature, everything we do, we do with our hands. If you want to pick something up, you pick it up with your hands. So if you have instability through your wrist or you have repetitive use injuries like, you know, working with a keyboard or whatever, whatever have you, um, and you start bench pressing and adding, you know, size to the pressing and the pulling muscles, you might get into a bit of trouble. And for me, the freaking hammer sorted me out. Uh, I've done a whole host of different exercises. Today I tried a different one again, tried spamming this exercise. I don't even know what to call it. What is it, a, a, a wrist front raise? I don't know how to describe these things anymore in my, my, um, in my journal. Uh, but this is feeling good. You know, what I really wanted to do is I wanted to go and do the reverse version of this. So stand with the hammer facing behind me and then like flexing upwards. I might do that next time. But I'm essentially putting in a lot, a lot of work with wrists. Uh, like I mentioned to you guys, I did a lot of rotation stuff pronation, supination over the last few weeks. That kind of felt good. Uh, I don't know what you call it. It's not flexion extension. I don't know what you call this front raise business. I don't know what, I don't know. Is it a lateral? I don't know. I don't know what to call this movement with the wrist. But it's feeling fantastic. It's feeling great. 
and my bench press is feeling unbelievable because of that. I don't know whether this is actually doing anything for my bench press. All I know is that it's making my elbows feel good so I can actually do the bench press. So it's kind of like a prehab exercise, um, doing sets of 30, really, really smashing the hell out of the, uh, the extensors and the flexors and the rotators in the wrists. And uh, I'm, I'm, I can put in stupid amount of volume in the bench press without any pain. Pain has always been my trouble. You know, I, I've always had the willpower to put in 20 sets of two or whatever the case might be. Um, it's just, I hit pain. I hit these pain barriers, which completely stop, uh, what's wrong with my phone? It completely stops uh, me from doing volume. And then I have to regress and spend the following couple of weeks running around and beating around the bush with all sorts of exercises, you know. With the bench press, it was like elbow, bicep, elbow, bicep, lats, traps, freaking million different things. And then you find something that works and then you can really go crazy again. And then you see the progress. So today I hit 140 kilos for five doubles. So for the last few sessions, I did 135 for a bunch of doubles. And the last session I did seven doubles and I thought, okay, I'm getting the, the, the hang of this. Let's progress. I shouldn't have gone to 140, but screw it. I didn't want to stuff around with little weights. So I put 140. I was kind of skeptical. Maybe I won't get doubles here. But I was getting doubles quite comfortably. Not quite comfortably, but like confidently. Uh, I just, you know, every time I find progress in other lifts, I always think to myself, I wish I found the hammer version uh, of the bench press. Uh, if I found something similar like this for the, for the squat. Uh, don't get me wrong, I have found a whole host of things, you know, these things that I've been doing recently with the leg raises, with the hip uh, marching is fantastic and it makes you feel good. But even then, it's kind of like, I always feel like with a movement that large, lots of things are going on. And I've, I've tried to beat around the bush and I've tried to find the actual, the actual thing that's driving all of this. And I've been unsuccessful, but you know, I continue to do it. Uh, I continue to do it with these bands and all the stuff that I'm doing. And I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm carpet bombing a large area, but I haven't really identified exactly what the problem is. And right, like I've been doing this for four years and I'm still kind of like beating around the bush a little bit. But that's, that's the way it goes because there's many variables and many things that can give, uh, you know, positive vibes, positive feelings, and then you don't really kind of know exactly. But with this thing, man, like, uh, it's the wrists. Uh, at least I know it's the wrists, whether it's deflection or extension or, or whatever, rotation, I'm not sure. Uh, over time, I'll kind of work out which movements exactly feel good. But the fact is that when I do this, I can go crazy with bench press. So crazy period. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll try and next session, maybe get to seven doubles with 140. Um, and then progress from there, maybe go to 145 for doubles, you know, and then I don't know, like if I hit seven doubles with 140, maybe I can hit 150, right? I mean, could be possible, right? So, you know, I'll continue to progress it. When, when you find something that works, it works. Like, and this is the thing, man, you know, <laughs> bench pressing seems to be coming to me so much easier than squatting for whatever reason. I mean, clearly I'm not built for, for squatting. I've got these short ass freaking arms, maybe built for bench press. Uh, but that's the way it is, man. That's the way it is. Uh, it's funny how life works. <laughs> you know, the thing that you don't really want comes to you. But the thing that you really, really want doesn't. But you keep pushing, you keep you keep going further and further and try and work out all these things. And then eventually uh, you might get lucky and find something out. So um, yeah, anyway, my mind's racing now, thinking about the squats and all that stuff. Um, I'm just thinking to myself, doing this is kind of like keep flexible work. This is what I try to do. Like I find something that works for one joint and I'm like, okay, what if I do that version of that for another joint? Maybe that's gonna, you know, because the bench press is a push, squat is a push. Yeah, vastly different joints, you know, 
shoulders and hips are kind of same, but not really. Uh, it just makes you think. Makes you think. Anyway, guys, I gotta get out of here. I'm hungry. I'm after a night shift. It's raining all day. I don't even know if you're gonna hear this freaking video, but anyway, let's see how it turns out. Like always, guys, appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.